What's up guys, it's Wigeon TV here. Back when Fallout 76 was first announced, as I'm sure many of you know, the new cryptids being added to the game sparked my interest. And so only a few days after the game's announcement, I started making videos on the real life folklore of Mothman, the Flatwoods monster, and so on. Since then, I have continued my coverage of these creatures. It was interesting to follow the story of these creatures from the real life lore to the in-game lore. Well now with a new expansion announced called Wild Wasteland, which will come out in only a few days, we have a new creature to speculate about, the Sheep Squatch. So in this video, I'm going to give the Sheep Squatch the same treatment I gave the other cryptids. Go over its real life folklore, and then we can eventually compare it to the in-game folklore. Long, long ago in the way back times, 1994, the first sighting of the Sheep Squatch, also known as the White Thing, was recorded first spotted by a former Navy seaman who was wandering down the bank of a river in the TNT area of West Virginia. Notably, this is the same area where the Mothman was first spotted. Looking across the bank, the seaman spotted the white thing. He described it as being a quadruped about the size of a bear, with entirely white wool-like fur. It had a long and pointed head, similar to that of a dog, but with long, saber-like teeth and a single set of horns not dissimilar to those found on a young goat. Its forelimbs ended in paw-like hands similar to those of a raccoon, but longer. That's kind of a strange description. I'm not sure how many people know what a raccoon's paw looks like, but here's one for comparison. But its tail is long and hairless, like that of a possum. The seaman was also said to have recoiled when he smelt a strong sulfur smell in the air. After a few minutes of drinking out of the river, the creature spotted the voyeur and ran off. So this encounter seems pretty believable, right? It's detailed and it's grounded in reality. But here's the thing. This, the first witness of the Sheep Squatch, consumed a variety of mushrooms he found in the forest before this encounter, so the legitimacy of this can be easily questioned. Obviously there are more encounters and witnesses of the Sheep Squatch, but that's not to say this encounter isn't enough to create the Sheep Squatch's folklore alone. The folklore of the Grafton monster was created by a single journalist on a slow news day. This creature was next spotted a year later, this time involving a car. A couple driving through Boone County observed a large white beast sitting in the ditch alongside the roadway. As many curious passerbys might have done in this situation, they stopped their car to get a better look. They came to describe the creature again, mostly similar to the earlier description. Yet they added that the creature had four eyes. In stark contrast to the last sighting where the sheep squatch fled the scene, this creature leaped out of the ditch and started to attack the car. Frightened by the attack, the couple drove off quickly, and once they arrived back at home, they noticed large scratches on the side of their car where the beast had attacked. So in this counter, it shows a little bit more aggression from this creature, and suggests that it has the capability to tear up sheet metal on a car with its claws. Hopefully we see those metal tearing claws in Fallout 76. The last encounter I wanted to talk about happened fairly recently, in 2015. This passage gives several key descriptions about the Sheep Squatch that may mold this cryptid's appearance in Fallout 76. The story goes, in Folks Run, Virginia, the beast was once again spotted in the forests of Appalachia. The creature was spotted close to midnight by six campers, spending the night in the dense woods. The beast was reportedly eight to nine feet tall with a shoulder length of four to five feet. One of the campers first saw the beast on top of a nearby hill, in a crouched position. Then it stood up and alerted the other campers. Then it started running down a steep hill toward the campers, but they were separated by a river that was flowing through. The campers looked on and horror as it searched for a way to cross, and with no other option, it began to wade through the river. It finally came out of the water, and the campers reported it appeared like a bipedal dog in the chest with its fur wet from the river crossing. Then a loud gut-based screech was heard about two miles away from where they were. Then the sheep squatch looked up in shock, just high enough so the moonlight was in its face, and the campers looked on in fear as it let out a pathetic whimper. It ran in the opposite direction of the noise. The campers quickly panicked and left, and reported it to the local officials. Fearing that the authorities would be informed and the campers would be ridiculed, the identity of the campers is still unknown. The description of the Sheep Squatch in this story is in my opinion going to match the Sheep Squatch from the game, because of its hulking size and aggression. If the creature in game is about 8 to 9 feet tall, it would be around the same size as a Deathclaw, and every bit as scary. But there is one thing that is certain about this creature. It doesn't have ambiguous motives like the Mothman. We know from all of the stories, except for the first one, that it doesn't like humans, and will show aggression towards them. From any perspective, an encounter with this creature is going to be a challenge in the game. 
It shows in the official roadmap that this creature will be introduced on March 12th, but the whole story will not be available until the Sheer Terror update that will come out on April 9th. Alright guys, that's all I have on this Sheep Squatch. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Also, if you made it this far in the video, consider joining my channel's membership. You get a cool little cryptid symbol next to your name when you comment, and it goes a long way in supporting my channel, so thank you. Also consider following me on Twitter, it's the best place for me to keep in contact with you guys. But anyway, this has been Woodgen TV. thanks for watching guys! Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah.